हे गाइस वेलकम टू डेटा ट्रैक योर वन स्टॉप चैनल फॉर ऑल द डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग अपडेट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल लुक एट हाउ टू हैंडल कैटेगरिकल डेटा एफिशिएंटली वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट कैटेगरिकल डेटा इज एंड व्हाट आर सम ऑफ द एनकोडिंग टेक्निक्स अवेलेबल टू एनकोड दिस कैटेगरिकल डेटा वी विल ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ दैम एंड यू विल गेट एन इंट्यूशन वेन टू यूज विच टेक्निक एंड सम ऑफ द गुड प्रैक्टिस अराउंड इट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट so what is categorical data categorical data is a data gathered information that can be divided into groups or categories as the name suggest and uh, categorical variable can be of two types uh, with this example you will understand it better categorical variable can be of two types one is nominal other is ordinal in nominal the categories with have no intrinsic order for example gender color types of cuisines and so on so first of all categorical data is something which has groups or categories nominal categorical data is the one which has no intrinsic order like gender color type of cuisines and so on uh, gender can be male female there is no order to it as in you can't uh, say that this is better than the second is better than the third and so on so these are just uh, there is no intrinsic order to it and similarly hair color can be brown black blonde gray or other there is no order ordering here while in the ordinal categorical data there is a natural order which which may not be equidistant but definitely there is some order for example the education level or how do you feel today very happy unhappy okay happy very happy similarly how satisfied with are you with our service and as i was saying education level you are 10th pass 12th pass degree masters and so on so there may not be an equidistant but definitely there is a natural order while in the nominal one there is a no intrinsic order and in ordinal there is an natural order next is why is uh, any type of encoding or transformation needed for this categorical variables the main reason why we will need some encoding or some transformation for this categorical variable is first of all model compatibility most less machine learning algorithms uh need numerical data to operate but these are categories or strings right similarly on the same uh, direction uh, the model training and predictions does some mathematical operations and for doing mathematical operations you need numbers that's why you need to transform these categories into numbers similarly the model performance the performance can significantly improve because model learns uh, model understand numbers and if you are able to encode these categories in a efficient way in a uh, way in which it becomes easier for the model to learn then you will see that your performance will significantly increase and accuracy will go up with proper encoding of these categorical variables similarly feature understanding encoded variables helps in assessing the impact of feature on model prediction so you will be able to understand how important your uh, feature categorical feature is in having the final model say so with that let's start looking at some of the techniques the first one is label encoding label encoding is mostly done for nominal categorical variable where there was no intrinsic ordering each unique category is assigned a unique integer for example places which can be new york boston chicago california new jersey will just give a number to each one of them right so this number is the encoded uh this number is the encoded representation so whenever new york appears you have one wherever california appears you have four wherever boston appears you have two similarly for chicago and new jersey this is a simple encoding method method but the drawback is that the assigned integers may be misinterpreted by the machine learning uh, algorithm to have a ordered relationship but we know there is no uh, ordering or intrinsic order within this uh, places all places are different but if we give the number like 1 2 3 4 the ml model may confuse there there is some intrinsic ordering but in reality there is not so this is one of the drawback but this is one of the techniques in which you can encode your nominal categorical variable next is ordinal encoding ordinal encoding as the name suggest it's used for uh, ordinal categorical variable there is, where there is some intrinsic ordering or natural ordering for example categories low medium high can be assigned values 1 2 3 right similarly grades a b c d we know that a is the best so a can be assigned a value of 4 b 3 c 2 d 1 and fail means 0 so in this way uh, it's a similar 
टाइप ऑफ एंकोडिंग लाइक द लेबल एंकोडिंग बट लेबल एंकोडिंग गिव्स ए नंबर टू नॉमिनल कैटेगरिकल वेरिएबल्स वाइल ऑर्डिनल एंकोडिंग इज फॉर ऑर्डिनल कैटेगरिकल वेरिएबल्स विच डू हैव ए ऑर्डरिंग अदरवाइज द मैथड वाइज बोथ आर सेम बोथ गिव्स इन टीचर इन ऑर्डिनल वन वी गिव इन टीचर्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑर्डरिंग बट इन नॉमिनल वी जस्ट गिव दैम एनी न्यू नंबर्स विच इज कॉल्ड लेबल इंकोडिंग मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज वन हॉट इंकोडिंग वन हॉट इंकोडिंग इज द मोस्ट कॉमन एंड पॉपुलर मेथड ऑफ एनकोडिंग कैटेगरी का वेरिएबल्स ए बाइनरी कॉलम इज क्रिएटेड फॉर इच यूनिक कैटेगरी इन द वेरिएबल फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर वेरिएबल इज प्लेसेज वेयर यू हैव न्यूयॉर्क बोस्टन सिकागो कैलिफोर्निया न्यूजर्सी फॉर इच ऑफ द यूनिक कैटेगरी यू विल क्रिएट वन ऑफ द बाइनरी वेरिएबल दैट न्यूयॉर्क इज प्रेजेंट और एबसेंट न्यूयॉर्क इज प्रेजेंट एंड ऑल अदर आर एबसेंट इन द सेकेंड वन बॉस्टन इज प्रेजेंट ऑल अदर आर एबसेंट सिकागो इज प्रेजेंट ऑल अदर आर एबसेंट कैलिफोर्निया इज प्रेजेंट ऑल अदर आर एबसेंट एंड सॉन सो दिस इज कॉल वन नॉट इंकोडिंग दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एंड कॉमन मेथड फॉर इंकोडिंग कैटेगरिकल वेरिएबल्स एंड वन एडवांटेज इज दैट इन लेबल इंकोडिंग इवन दो द यूनिक कैटेगरी डिडेंट हैव एनी ऑर्डरिंग वी वेर जस्ट गिविंग दैम नंबर बट हेयर यू कैन सी दैट दीज डजेंट हैव एनी इंट्रेंसिक और इंटरनल ऑर्डरिंग बट सो दैट्स वाई वी आर एनकोडिंग इट वेरी एफिशियंटली वी आर गिविंग ए न्यू कॉलम इट सेल्फ वन ड्रॉबैक कैन बी नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स विल इंक्रीज राइट मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज डमी इंकोडिंग डेमी इंकोडिंग इज सिमिलर टू वन हॉट इंकोडिंग इट्स एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ वन हॉट इंकोडिंग इन केस ऑफ वन हॉट इंकोडिंग फॉर एन यूनिक कैटेगरीज इन ए वेरिएबल वी यूज टू गिव एन बाइनरी वेरिएबल्स हेयर इन डमी एनकोडिंग इट्स ए स्मॉल इंप्रूवमेंट सो द एनकोडिंग सेज दैट फॉर वेरिएबल विथ एन डिस्टिंग वैल्यूज वी जस्ट नीड एन माइनस वन फीचर्स विच कैन रिप्रेजेंट दिज एन लेबल्स सो आई विल एक्सप्लेन विद द एग्जाम्पल सो सी द बॉस्टन बॉस्टन इज प्रेजेंट सो बॉस्टन इज वन सिकागो इज वन California is one, New Jersey is one. So when all are zero, it means the leftover category is one, right? So you don't need actually n variables. You can do things with n minus one variables only, and that's the small improvement dummy encoding does. It just encodes a variable with n categories with just n minus one columns. Its memory efficient a bit, and as well as it reduces multicollinearity and overfitting because it is using lesser variables than one hot encoding. Moving on, next we have binary encoding. Binary encoding is a combination of label encoding and one-hot encoding. So it uses both of them to reduce the number of columns. Let's understand how. In binary encoding, first of all, the categorical variable is converted into number using ordinal encoding only. So let's say you have twelve cities, we will give them number one to twelve. Now uh, the the number twelve is transformed into a binary number. after the binary value is split into different columns so for example we have 12 cities so we have given them 1 to 12 number and then if we represent one in binary it will be 0001 uh, 2 will be 0010 right 3 will be 0011 so for 12 values if we had done one hot encoding it would have taken 12 variables but since we are using binary representation which is again 0 or 1 like the one hot encoding uh but we will need lesser variable because it's a binary representation so because of that with 12 cities you won't need 12 columns or 11 columns in case of dummy encoding here you will just need four columns idea is that uh you convert the category in a variable you convert the categories in a variable into number and then transform them using their binary representation and this technique works well when you have let's say many categories you have 1000 categories if you use one hot encoding you will have 1000 variables uh, if, even if you use dummy encoding you will have 999 variables but if you use binary encoding you will just have 10 variables because 2 to the to the power 10 is uh, 1024 right so you will just need 10 variables with just uh, uh, 10 variables you will be able to represent them in terms of 0 and 1 and able to represent all the 1000 cities so you can see that how from 1000 you have reduced to 10 so when you have high cardinality you can use binary encoding similar to binary encoding there is also bayesian encoding uh, which just extends the binary encoding methodology that you first convert the categorical variable into number and then convert it in base n encoding like 
if you can use base 2 it becomes binary but if you can use base n also right this approach can be useful for reducing the number of columns uh, further so if you have let's say same example 12 cities in the binary encoding you needed four variables right in uh, base n encoding where n is equal to 3 uh, you will just need three variables and uh, these numbers are uh, in base 3 encoding where it won't be just 0 and 1 there will be 2 as well if you use base 4 it will be 0 1 uh, 2 and 3 right 4 digits will be used so that is how you can uh, represent and reduce the number of columns but these are some of the encodings where binary encoding is more popular for high cardinality problems uh, basal encoding can also be done uh, it's just an extension of binary encoding where instead of using base 2 you can use a base n and there is more advanced techniques also available like the target encoding there is a more advanced technique used for dealing high cardinality categorical features that is features having many unique cat, uh, values uh, the average target value of each category is calculated and this average value is used to replace the categorical feature so let's say you have uh, many categories in a variable what you will do is you will uh, just use the target variable which is your uh, target for the model you will just use the target variable in your training data and take its average apple has appeared two times average is zero banana has appeared three times and the average is uh, two out of three that is out of three samples two are positive so you will just replace it with the target value the average target value and wherever apple appears you will put zero wherever banana appears you will put 0 0.66 so let's understand what are the pros and cons of this so let's look at the advantages of target encoding incorporates target information by incorporating information from target variable target encoding can capture more nuanced relationship between categorical feature and the target potentially leading to better model performance let me explain uh, suppose in the training data set you see that people who are highly qualified are also in high position where high position is a target variable so you have seen this relationship in training data that highly qualified people have are in high position and you have captured it in your target encoding that will be helpful in model training and in the test data also similar relationship will be there that highly qualified people would be in high position it will help you in better learning other thing is that simplicity and lower dimensionality uh, one not encoding would explode the number of columns to n but here you only produce one column one output which is just the average value of the target so the output produced is simple and lower dimensional there are also some disadvantages that disadvantages can be uh, for the categories with for the categorical variable with many categories and some of the categories may have very less data so the target encoding that you might have done may be spurious so it can lead to underfitting and in some cases it can lead to overfitting there is also a risk of data leakage if your test data is not properly time based displayed you it may be possible that some future information may be encoded because of ta target variable directly used for encoding the categorical variable so it may not generalize well for the new test data uh, there is one more approach which is the light gbm way of approaching uh, or handling categorical variable light gbm stands for light gradient boosting machine it's a tree based model which is faster because of gradient based one sided sampling feature bundling kind of techniques it's a tree based boosting model which is fast and uh, in light gbm we can pass the categorical variable as it is with the categorical data type and it automatically uh, does the recognition and handling of categorical variable so light gbm approach is simple that it doesn't use one hot encoding uh, or so internally what it does is it takes the categorical variable as it is and then it converts categorical variable into integers that is it does some kind of label encoding which are then treated internal uh, as categorical data so instead of using one hot encoding light gbm converts categorical features into integers and then it handles it in a proper way so the idea is that it will convert categorical data that let's say categorical variable has many categories it will give them a number only and this number is not random the it is sorted order of the number of data count within that category so a categorical variable have many categories it will give them number which is sorted by number of data points it has and the idea is that it will now try to find the best split because tree based models are based on best split so it will find the best split and it will prioritize more the uh, labels 
विच हैव मोर डेटा पॉइंट इन इट और द इंटीजर वैल्यूज असाइन विच हैव मोर डेटा पॉइंट इन इट बिकॉज इट इज ऑलरेडी सॉर्टेड और गिव इन दैम द नंबर प्रायोरिटी ऑन द बेस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ डेटा पॉइंट्स एंड देन इट विल फाइंड द बेस्ट स्प्लिट गिविंग मोर प्रायोरिटी टू द नंबर्स विच हैव हाई नंबर ऑफ डेटा पॉइंट्स एंड दिस अलाउज मॉडल टू एफिशियंटली हैंडल कैटेगरिकल डेटा विथ मैनी लेवल्स विदाउट एक्सपेंडिंग द फीचर स्पेस सो वाई यूजिंग फीचर मॉडल लाइक लाइक जी बी एम देर इज दिस एक्स्ट्रा एडवांटेज दैट इट हैज इफेक्टिव और एफिशियंट वे ऑफ हैंडलिंग कैटेगरिकल वेरिएबल विद इन इट सेल्फ बिल्ट इंटरनली और कोडेड इंटरनली फाइनली द मल्टी बिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन दैट विच कैटेगरिकल एंकोडिंग टेक्निक टू यूज determining the best method for encoding categorical variable significantly depends on the data context the specific ml model you are using and the nature of your problem each encoding techniques has its own strength and suits different scenarios so the suggestion is try out different encoding scheme uh, have a variation set see that which one is performing best in your case or which one uh, suits your context in the best way so that's it in this video we looked at categorical variables we understood what those are and what are different encoding techniques what are the pros and cons and uh, we also figured out that since we have lot of these encoding techniques now available uh, in our arsenal how we can find the best one how we can see in very recent set that which one is performing best depending on the ml model and uh, the nature of our data and nature of our algorithm we will be able to figure out which one is performing best for us Hope you like the video please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye